Hello and welcome to Period Talk with Lawrence Ibuaka. I'm so excited to have you here with me today. Um, on this platform, I talk about periods and all things periods. Um, this is because periods is an integral part, a very important part of a girl or a woman's life. Most girls and women will experience periods in their lifetime. But it's a topic that is um, shrouded in secrecy, <laughs> as though it were a taboo. But it is not. Some caregivers find it an awkward topic to talk about. But it should not be so. This is because period is actually <laughs> a very important part of the reproductive system. Yes, it is. So we're going to be learning about periods on this platform. And we'll be talking about how to manage your period symptoms. And we'll also be talking a whole lot about different period stuff. Yeah. Um, but before I go on, I want to invite you. Yes, you to join me on any of my social media platforms. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's um, Florence Iboyaka. Or you can follow us on Instagram. Yay, I'm excited. You can follow us on Instagram at The Period Comic. Or on Facebook at The Period Comic. <laughs> One more time, welcome to my platform. Welcome to my channel. Um, I'm so excited that you made it here today. Thank you. Um, today... <laughs> I'll be doing a bit of a recap of what I talked about the last time, and that is period poverty. Yes, yeah, so you can call this period poverty too. Now, I'll do a bit of a recap. And like I said the last time, period poverty is the lack of access to hygienic period products. As we're all aware, period is not a choice, but part of the reproductive system of a girl or a woman. But the reality is that period poverty is a global issue and it actually affects different women and different girls. Now, um, lack of access to hygienic products has some adverse effects, some negative effects, and one of such effects is infertility. Another is infections. You find women get infections if they're using the wrong period products and all that kind of stuff. And I mentioned to us that there's a high statistics in developing economies and also that even in the United Kingdom, in the US, different parts of the world, we find that some people actually experience period poverty because they are not able to afford hygienic period products. So I, for one, have been involved with a few charities in the past, and I still am, <laughs> who work in underserved communities supporting girls who um, suffer from period poverty. So I also told us some of the ways we can support such charities. The first is to recognize that some people are in this category and not by choice. <laughs> yes, uh, we need to recognize that. That is a reality. So we need to spread the word. And we need to say no to period poverty. Then we also create awareness. Once you're aware of it, you can also help spread the word. You can create awareness about it. You can make donations. That was the third point I said. You can make donations. It could be monetary donations. It could be materials where you support by providing the materials, the hygienic period products. You could also volunteer with any charity that works in this area. Yay! I'm actually excited because I have something interesting I'm going to share with you in a bit. Now, um, today, I've, I've just done a bit of a recap of um, what I talked about the last time. But today, um, I want to talk about period poverty in another dimension. And that's because um, as much as period poverty is lack of access to hygienic period products, it is also the lack of knowledge about periods and how to manage periods. Yeah, it is the lack of knowledge. Poverty is lack of knowledge as well. So lack of knowledge, lack of education about periods is a form of period poverty. 
hence my podcast. <laughs> so that's why I'm holding my podcast to educate people, talk about the issues around periods, help people manage their period symptoms better. And there are different ailments that could arise and help ladies understand how to deal with such issues. So that's why we're here. And thank you again for being here. But anyways, as I was saying, lack of knowledge. So I have something interesting and that's um, which I'm doing. And I've been creating awareness about period education because like I said at the beginning, um, it's an awkward topic for some people to discuss, which is why I thought it necessary to discuss about periods and demystify, <laughs> if you may, some of the taboos that has been talked about around periods. Now, in a bit to do this, yay, drum rolls, I actually wrote a book. It's called The Period Comic. <laughs> yes, The Period Comic. The Period Comic explains periods in an easy and fun way for girls to understand. So far, we've been getting reviews on this book and it is amazing, I must say. Different girls have reviewed the book before we had it illustrated. Yes, it's a full comic. So we're telling the story about periods in a way that girls can relate with. We have characters in the period book comic that girls are excited about and want to be like. So the book is really interesting. So that is one of our ways of trying to help promote period education is a way of letting girls know that periods, yes, is something they should not be ashamed about because it is real and it is a good thing. Yeah, so for now, I'll say um, there'll be a lot happening around the period comic. We're going to have some promos. We're going to have a lot of goodies to share. And uh, we're unveiling our website in a few days as well. So what I'm going to say is keep your ears glued here. Yes. <laughs> And remember to follow me on all the various social media platforms to get more updates on the period comic. You can also like our page uh, on Facebook. So if you go to Facebook, it is the period comic. You can also um, follow us on Instagram at the period comic. But before you leave, yes, <laughs> you know, I would always, always share my free gift with you. And that is Trisha Period Tracker. So go to Google Play, download your version, join the thousands of women who are using this free platform. So thank you for staying here with me today and listening. Um, see you next time. I'll be sharing more about the period comic in my next podcast. I'm really glad you could stay with me to the very end. Thank you so very much. Ciao.